Hey guys, welcome to Body Bags. It's Friday, Black Friday, and it's Matt from you and your horror movies. Ah, just got done shopping with some awful, awful lines. <laughs> so, <clears throat> for my movie review for you guys today, I'm reviewing a film from 1999 from uh, Canada. It's called Lethal Target. Oh, I found this at a pawn shop for two bucks. So I said, eh, why not? Looks like a cool alien uh, monster film. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, it takes place in 2069. Uh, pretty much the movie starts off in this <clears throat> mining colony slash woman's prison. A woman's prison is a mining colony. Uh, they uh, decide to recruit this one woman who kind of reminds me of Lucy Lawless, but it's not. And that is played by C.C. Uh, Costigan? Yeah. Uh, she's recruited because <clears throat> she has a lot of talents. Uh, these talents are usually mostly for fighting, killing, uh, weaponry, all that kind of crap. So they decided to uh, recruit her to go aboard the space station as this <clears throat> security guard to infiltrate what's going on at the station. Because what happened at the station was it's this floating giant space station where they're working on time travel. It's a bunch of doctors and uh, scientists working on different uh, techniques. Well, they decided that they did time travel. And what it was was several scientists got transported to some planet and only one came back. Now, when it came back, something came back with them. Well, with her, I should say. And it is this alien monster looking like thing killing people on the station. So, <clears throat> she is sent to the station. Well, come to find out, the scientists that are at the station now are pretty much into sex therapy, where they're studying different types of sex with women, with men, uh, together. Uh, men with women, but no men and men. Uh, mostly menage a trois and normal sexual shit going on. Well, the security guard <laughs> has found out that she is a, I forgot what they called her in this one, but her religion is based on both men and women. She's like, oh crap, I gotta be a, a space slut, pretty much, she said. Well, uh, come to find out, she is thwarting an alien invasion through this one scientist, this lesbian slash, I don't know what you want to call her, uh, she's implanting other women on the space station with alien DNA, and when she when they have intercourse, and pretty much that's when the male dies, the female goes into some kind of weird stasis and gets sick, and pretty much you have an alien chest buster. You do. Uh, okay, so my thoughts on this film. All right, well, I'm going to drop it. Sorry about that. Uh, my thoughts on this film. This is definitely a pass. If you, I found this for two bucks at a pawn shop, and I'm, I think I overpaid. Uh, blandly, a alien drip off. The exit. They even have the chest buster scene, where there's a girl on the bed, and the alien that comes out of her chest is almost exactly like an alien from Aliens, the whole xenomorph. Uh, they recycle scenes back and forth over and over again, uh, when the alien is. In the like the ducks, the space ducks, it's the same scene over and over and over. The only thing that's good about this film is the nudity. There's some good female nudity going on. Uh, it's almost like a soft, soft, soft core porn. Uh, there's a couple sex scenes, and that's about it. And there's all other nudity going on. The monster is some CG, uh, not CJ, is practical, but it's hardly on the screen. Uh, until like almost near the end, and then they show what it looks like, and it doesn't look that great. It looks like an anorexic creature. <laughs> it is weirdly looking thin. It, they don't do it justice. Uh, also, too, is the storyline. The storyline just doesn't make sense. You would think that a ship carrying a bunch of scientists and an alien is pretty much attacking everybody. It's attacking all the crew. It's attacking the, the military that's on there. That Why would they still be on the ship? And you think the ship would be abandoned. Like, if it was an abandoned ship, 
and they want to figure out what the hell's going on. All right. But you still got the crew members, and they're aware of the monster that's on board. It just doesn't make sense. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, some other that, the acting was pretty subpar. <clears throat> uh, the cinematography was, uh, like I said, this is definitely a pass. Like I said, I would give this out of a 10, a 3. And that's just being generous because of the girl, the woman nudity, some of the boobs. Uh, I said the monster looked bad. The acting was crap. The ending was bad. Uh, I wasted 92 minutes of my life on this film. So I wasted it so you don't have to. If you see this movie, I'd suggest passing it up. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think down below. Have yourself a good Black Friday. Peace.